Hi. If you are somebody who has done a kidney function test and you have found your creatinine to be a little high and you want to know how to reduce it naturally, this is a video for you. I'm Dr. Rangtesh Rajkumar, consultant nephrologist, interventional nephrologist and renal transplant patient at Apollo Hospital's Green Slope Chennai. Creatinine is a, I can say it's a salt which is normally found in your blood as well as in the urine. The normal function of your kidneys is to excrete excess creatinine in the urine so that the blood level of creatinine stays within the normal limits. Having said that, it is normally produced from your muscle. So from the muscle it gets generated and gets passed out in the urine so that the level stays normal. So you can you have to understand a little bit here. So somebody who is really muscular, for somebody who goes to the gym regularly and is muscular, her baseline or his baseline creatinine can be a little high. On the other hand, for somebody who is very thin without much muscle mass, the baseline creatinine itself is very less, maybe even less than the lower limit of normal. So you cannot take a call just only based on a slightly high or low creatinine. You have to fix that creatinine to that particular patient and take a call. Yes. Now let's say you have done a renal function test, kidney function test and uh, creatinine is found to be a little high. So what to go, how to go about that? It all depends on what is the reason. Sometimes it could be a simple remedy like increasing your water intake a little bit that will solve the issue and creatinine becomes normal in a day or so. Again, sometimes it could be very simple by stopping some of the medicine which is the real reason for your little high creatinine. May it be allopathic medicines or some native medicines. All you need to do is to find it out, reduce it, stop it and the creatinine becomes normal or sometimes it is a little more than that. For example, whenever I see as a nephrologist somebody with a high creatinine, the first thing I'll try to understand is if the patient has got a kidney problem which is acute or chronic. Acute is a kidney problem which happens over a period of days to weeks. On the other hand, chronic kidney problem is something which happens over a period of months to years. The uh, very idea is that if I think somebody has got an acute kidney problem, I will not do anything less but to make the creatinine normal. On the other hand, if it is a case of a chronic kidney problem, I'll try to delay the disease process as long as possible. So that is the first question I need to answer. The second question is, what is the reason for your high creatinine? As I told you, the most common reasons being lifestyle diseases like diabetes and hypertension, high blood pressure. By controlling these two properly, by keeping the numbers within limits, we can make the kidneys function normally for a long period of time. We can maintain the creatinine for a long period of time, even if it is a little high. On the other hand, if it is a case of an acute kidney failure, just to give an example, let's say uh, somebody has taken a, a pill and it has reacted and the patient has got a high creatinine. Somebody has got a significant loose motions, dehydration, consequently high creatinine. Fever, let's say malaria or the rat fever or something and consequent kidney problem and high creatinine. These are the examples for acute kidney problem. In all these instances, if we get to the root cause correctly and treat it properly, your kidney functions can get back to normal even let's say the patient needs dialysis for a temporary period of time. On the other hand, if the patient has got what is called a chronic kidney problem, which is the kidneys, the creatinine has been rising over a period of months to years, we should try to keep it under control. It may not be essentially cured, but you can try to keep it under control for a long period of time. So it all depends on what is the reason. So if you do a kidney function test, and if you think the function kidney function is a little abnormal, may it be high, low or whatever, rather than taking decisions on your own, you try to meet a specialist and nephrologist preferably to understand the lab function test and to see what else has to be done. Thank you.